Belle Young lives with her family in Harrogate, North Yorkshire. Belle is 16 and studying for her GCSEs. I go to St Aidan's in Harrogate and it's really nice, I really like it. I'd like to do, stay at St Aidan's and do my A-levels. I've kind of decided that I'd quite like to do psychology, English language and media studies. After A-levels I think I'd quite like to go into something to do with media, but we'll see. I'm not quite sure. I feel like it's a long way away. When she was eight years old, Belle fell from a climbing frame. She had a spinal cord injury with life-changing effects. On a day-to-day -day basis, we're just living with, with Belle's injuries. We're trying to make her life as fulfilling as, yeah. as possible and trying just to get on with our normal lives. Yeah, at the end of June, I've got prom, which I'm really excited for. I got my dress the other night at an event they did at school, so I'm so excited for prom. Recently, Belle had surgery, where rods were inserted either side of her spine to straighten it. It was a long operation. It was about nine hours, I think. It's benefited me a lot. Um, sitting in my chair and lying in bed and everything is much easier now that I've got a straighter spine. Belle is a big fan of social media. She stays in touch with her friends over Snapchat and Instagram. But since her surgery, she's found it much harder to use her phone. My neck muscles are quite tight and to look down I find much harder. My right hand is much better than my left, so I've got more movement. So I use my phone with my right hand. I think if I had more control over my arms, I'd be so much more independent. Just little things like brushing my hair, putting my makeup on, writing at school, all those things that I can't do now. But if I had the movements of my arm, then I'd be way more independent. Belle and her mum Vanessa remain hopeful that research will develop effective treatments to increase her independence. At the end of the day I would like to walk again, but even just things like breathing, if I didn't have to have my trackie, that would make a massive difference. Things like being able to swim by myself, just like going in a pool. We all firmly believe that one day it will change for Belle. And I think we've got to hang on to that hope. As her mum, I have always wanted to be able to fix it for Belle. Now, I can't fix it for Belle, but I know that somebody out there will have done the research and will be clever enough to fix this problem for Belle and for all the people that it affects. Spinal Research is working hard to change the future for people like Belle. Independence and freedom is the two biggest things that like, everyone needs. So. I think those are what I would really benefit from the research. The more awareness that the charity can get so that more people can raise money, so that more research can be done, so that we can get to where we need to be and find a cure for all these people that suffer with spinal injuries sooner, you know, that's, that's my dream and that's just going to help so many people and, of course, our darling Belle.